started the Vines about eight years ago. Uh, June bought me a little kit uh, from actually one of the retail stores here. It's a little four bottle kit and you practice. You know, everything's done for you. All you gotta do is just follow the instructions and, uh, and it comes out with the end product. So that's how I really got started. I just, I enjoyed it. You know, I like the atmosphere. Uh, I like the challenge of making wine. So uh, I did a lot of research. Went on the internet most of it. Uh, we're actually dead parallel with Napa, so the weather and stuff is very similar. We bought the French grapes, and um, they're all Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Riesling, Pinot Noir, Merlot is what we grow. Uh, they're a lot more difficult to grow. We started with 400 vines, and now we're up over 1,000, about, got about two acres. Uh, we pick about 10,000 pounds off of this, so we get quite a bit. I just think that a lot of people assume that it's not a lot of work, but it, I mean, because we have people come in, they're like, now once you plant them, is that all you have to do? And I'm like, no. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it's, we enjoy it. So. We had our frog originally, it's a Costa Rican tree frog, actually not a toad, but it's, uh, its eyes are blood red and uh, I've got uh, 22 ladies at work and they said, ah, oh, that kind of looks like he's got bloody eyes. So if you look at the label, his, his, his eyes are purple now. So we made some little changes. Uh, we started out TOE, apostrophe D originally, and um, they said, well, it kind of sounds like feet. I said, I don't want to sound like feet, so we went to TOAD, which we kind of knew in the background, but uh, that's kind of how the name evolved. Well, essentially you plant it, uh, you get your first full crop on year four, so it takes a long time out. Uh, you want to cut all your fruit off the first three years, and that way the plant will get stronger and, and be able to handle the crop and produce well. In about February of every year, February to March, you'll prune the vines, and then about April 1st, around that, they'll start budding out. And then by about June 1st, they'll, be, they'll grow about four and a half feet from that little start. Usually by um, middle of May, uh, they'll have their flowers and, and they, they're self-pollinating. And then right now, they're little green peas, is what they look like. About the end of uh, the last week of August, you'll uh, start harvest. Each variety has about a week or two difference. So this, uh, the first one we have is Pinot Noir, and it'll be about the last week of August and we'll be picking or harvesting all the way up into October. Now, the whites have to be pressed and in a tank and airlocked uh, within a few hours. Then you'll wait 24 hours, you'll put the yeast in, and, and it'll actually start fermenting within a few hours after that. And the whites usually take, you ferment them at about 55 degrees, and they'll ferment for about three weeks. The reds, uh, will be completely different. The reds you'll harvest, they'll come in, you'll crush and destem them, they'll go into a big open barrel, but they'll, you'll let them sit 24 hours, you'll put the yeast in, and then after that, uh, they'll, they'll ferment in about 10 days, and, and they'll be finished. Then they'll go to a tank, and it's called secondary fermentation, that's when the fermentation slows down, it just bubbles real slow, and you can usually bottle those you know, within six to nine months, something in that range. Uh, sweet wines usually take, what we normally do is you, you'll take a white or a red and you'll ferment it to dryness and then you'll go back and sweeten it to the amount that you like. We do everything here. Uh, it, we're, we're at the manual stage right now. So you'll see us back there. We have a four spout filler. Looks like a little milk machine. You'll put four bottles on it and you'll put it in and it'll fill up to the level and then we'll take it off and we've got a hand corker, so uh, you cork every bottle one at a time. And then we had a hand labeler, and, and you just put a bottle on it, you spin it, put one label on it, and then you spin it again, and it puts the back label. I started entering contests about uh, two or three years ago. A bunch of friends suggested I do it, so I finally did it as an amateur. And, and I won several awards that way. And uh, so we've just been uh, working on this. And then last year, I started entering several events as a commercial professional and uh, we've won 43 awards across the U.S. in the last year and, and they range anywhere from Ohio uh, out to California, Texas, Florida and all the way around so, um, so we've, we've done pretty well uh, with that. 
I really like, uh, you know, someone tasting it and enjoying it. I really do. You know, it's, it's nice to go back, do your work, and, uh, you know, have a final product that you, uh, people enjoy, you know. So, um, I, I really like that part. You know, my wife's very good at the social part. She does a great job in the tasting room, and uh, I do most of my work in the back with the tanks and stuff, so. I mean, I think meeting the people is the most fun because we have, during the week, it's usually mostly tourists from out of town. We've had them from Alaska, California, and, and we've had a couple from British Columbia last week. And so it's fun just meeting different people and hearing their stories. And so, yeah, I think, it, you know, it's fun. We even have people, it cracks us up, they'll come in and like a husband will say, oh, I only drink bourbon or I only drink whiskey. And they usually end up leaving with a couple bottles. They'll be like, oh, well, I didn't think I'd like this. So yeah, it's kind of fun to watch people like that that just assume that they're not gonna like it and they'll try it and then they end up leaving with a couple bottles. Well, I, I see myself getting quite, quite a bit larger. Uh, we, we thought we'd start out slow but we've started out a lot faster. Uh, it's been received well out in the public. Uh, uh, this is, we hope, or my, my hope is temporary uh, retail. We hope to build a main winery. We just bought 13 acres just uh, joining us, and uh, we want to put the main winery there. So it'll be a bigger facility. Uh, this will be all processing. And uh, so I, I would think uh, uh, we'll be in the top five or six wineries in Kentucky, I'd say within four or five years.